on um, last Monday of February. Where the heck? No, sorry, second to last. Cool. Don't worry. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah, a little um, bit, yeah. I had to think about it. I had to look at my calendar, so you still have one more. But um, last Monday that I'm going to be speaking. So I am super pumped. Like, I feel like this month, you guys all know, it's been hard for everybody. But um, I was talking to Claire this weekend and I was like, stop focusing on it being hard and focusing on it just being an obstacle as an opportunity for you to overcome. So when you kind of change your mindset towards it from last week's call, then it doesn't become so hard. And just keep putting in the work, keep believing you're going to hit success club. That's literally what I do every single month. Um, right now, I'm still not keeping my 10 streak going, and it's kind of freaking me out before I go to LA, but this happens, right? It's an up and down business, and you have to just learn to ride the wave and just keep consistent in the things you can control. Um, so you can't control who doesn't answer you or who doesn't fill out their enrollment. Somebody's killing me right now at theirs. Um, but you can control your actions every single day. So I wanted to kind of get on tonight and share with you guys a step-by-step -step conversation um, and walk you through how I kind of look at my conversations and how I take it from like totally somebody who doesn't answer me to asking me every question in the book, literally, and kind of show you how I tackle those objections or those things that we get in conversations that could just be like, stop us in our tracks and, and make you freak out and make you freeze and then make you word vomit and it's just really bad and then you feel bad about it. So hopefully us kind of talking about it and walking through it will kind of help you guys rock your conversations the rest of the month and the rest of the year to hit our goals. All right. Um, I did want to shout out Beth. I'm not sure if she's here, but she's hitting Emerald on Thursday, which means we will have another diamond on the team. It's really my second business center, but it's props to our new coaches. Brianna, you're part of that um, for hustling and, and rocking it. So exciting stuff going on. Proof that you can go diamond in less than 60 days. Just saying. Um, all right. Let's screen share and get to it. Did you guys have anything else to add? Nothing? Good. I was going to call you guys out. Um, I want to see some why videos from last week too. Darn. I knew she was going to say that, <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's get them going this week. All right. So turning a no into a yes. Um, feel free to chat anything, um, as I go through this and ask any questions or just unmute yourself. Obviously I really think, um, conversations are the thing, like it's like the start that stops you, right? You think about it, oh, I don't wanna to talk to people tonight, I'm too tired. And I think it's really starts with this bad boy. If you don't 100% believe in yourself, Shakeology, the workouts, and yourself as a coach, right? This isn't gonna work. Like this conversation isn't gonna work. So this is why obviously personal development is such a big part of Beachbody because how can you give to others? How can you combat those, ne those neg negative thoughts, that skepticism, those objections? You know you're going to get them, right? No matter how many times we post about why Shakeology has made a difference in our life. And if you have it in the past week, you need to take a look at your timeline. Um, that's something I check myself with every week. You know, if I'm getting a lot of objections about it, I need to talk about it. But you have to wholeheartedly, 100%, believe in your mind, I can do this, people need me, and it's not about me, it's about them. And that's how I treat all of my conversations. Um, it kind of removes that emotional uh, connection that a lot of, you know, as women, obviously, we're a little bit more emotional, but we get very connected to the people we're talking to. And yes, I want you to do that, but I also want you to believe in yourself first. And I never want you to feel like you have to prove something or say why Shakeology is better and like fight with somebody about a different project product because it's not about that. It's about helping them the best way possible, right? So these are kind of the things that I think about on a daily basis. Um, number one, I never give up on anybody. So no matter how many times somebody doesn't answer me month to month, I still reach out. 
I still keep messaging them. I still go on their Facebook and comment and like, and, and be their friend, even if it's not reciprocated because there's people on this team who have ignored me for a year and then finally messaged me out of the blue and said, okay, I'm ready to start. So I'm saying from personal experience, literally don't give up on anyone. Don't message them every day and be annoying, but check in monthly and, and be that kind friend that you may not know what they're going through in life. You know, the second one is never stop inviting. Um, this month I've been sticking to 20 invites a day, which can seem like a lot, but I have big goals and that takes big action. And sometimes it feels a little bit wrong or weird, but at the same time, I had a challenger text me tonight and she was like, it makes me mad when I hear you say people are so negative back to you that had you not convinced me to do this two years ago, you know, I wouldn't be X, Y, and Z. And so that is proof that who cares if you get 10 or 20 no's tonight? What if you get one yes? That to me is kind of worth sending those 20 invites. Um, and believing you have a gift to give, right guys? Like people don't have support as 20 somethings in our niche. People don't have a group to go to, to uplift them. If they go to work and they have a bad boss, like who do they go talk to? You know, if I didn't have beach body, I don't know what I would do. Like I don't have family around, right? I don't have, I have a few friends in Atlanta, but this is kind of my gift and my passion to give to others. So you have to treat your messages that way. And then if you're hearing no's, I honestly know that no matter what, I'm getting healthier, I'm getting happier, and they're going to regret it. And I'm going to show them every single day why they're going to regret it, right? Because I'm going to keep moving forward in my fitness and health journey. I'm going to keep sharing my transformation. I'm going to keep sharing the positivity that I'm experiencing. I'm going to keep shouting out my challengers and my team. And they're going to start noticing a change in you when you do that, right? They're going to follow and they're going to lurk and they're going to watch and wonder what the heck's going on. Um, and then a no is always not right now. So the biggest mistake you can make when you get a no is to stop talking to that person. And I really want you guys to remember that from the bottom of your heart because you don't ever want to be that person that just sends invites every single month. You want to build the relationship, right? So I always, when I get a no and we'll kind of walk through this, I always just say, totally get it. Um, I'd love to keep you on the list for future months if that's okay with you. Do you know of anyone else who might need some extra support or, or accountability this month? And then I go on and ask them something about, you know, do you have any big travel plans this month or something like that? So just remember that in your heart of hearts, never stop a combo. All right. So we're going to kind of walk through an actual conversation um, you may have seen this before because I have posted in the team page, but I think it's important, especially with so many new coaches and like getting back to basics and just remembering the little things. So I kind of wanted to go through a conversation and how I look at it. So we can first see off the bat, my first message was in April of 2016, and this girl did not answer me until November. So that's proof that you guys have to keep connecting, right? You have to keep just being a friend. Um, I didn't know this person before. We had mutual friends, so like no connection whatsoever. And I just followed up like you guys, we have in our scripts. It's not rocket science whatsoever. It's a, hey girl, how you doing? Loved XYZ pictures and then asking a question or two at the end, right? Nothing that you guys don't already know. And it's funny, in November, she's like, I remember, I'm trying to remember how I know, know you. And it was my bad for not messaging her back. But that shouldn't have happened. But in December, on Christmas, at 1042 at night, so you know she felt really crappy after all those Christmas cookies and all that stuff, she messaged me. Which, of course, we all like, go, like love that, right? Like, wouldn't you all love 10 messages in your, in your inbox tomorrow? That starts with showing up on social media. So if you need to go listen to that team call again or find some other people, you know, if social media is still a struggle for you guys, you need to be a master at it. Get on YouTube and listen to a video every single day about it. That's how I kind of up my skills in areas that I'm struggling with. Um, but she had been watching me. So she had, she'd been wondering, she knew I was doing beach body, which is huge. So that kind of already broke the ice. So never give up on somebody if you're messaging them right now. 
in eight months from now, they could message you and say, hey, I'm watching you, all right? So kind of the initial asset assessment, right? She already knew about programs. I'm not just going to say, great, here's the link, let's buy, right? That's not how we do it. So I ask her a little bit about her goals and what she's struggling with most right now. And of course, she goes into that. Um, she said the Orange Theory and the bar classes are too expensive. So rookie mistake, you could think in your head, oh, well, she's never going to buy Shakeology, right? You could start thinking that. But that's not how we think, right? Because Shakeology is not that expensive if you think about the perspective of it and you build the value of it in your conversation. So um, I asked her what, this is a key question I want you guys to kind of start putting in your conversations. When somebody tells you their goals, what would that mean to you to lose those 20 pounds and why is now the time you're ready to do it? And I told her, I love these questions because they allow you to commit even more. And so it allowed her to get deep, it allowed her to create a why for herself to begin this journey. Before I even went into what program or Shakeology, nothing about that. It's why is now the right time for you? You know, what are you struggling with? It's nothing about me. It's okay, I taught group fitness classes, whatever, I'm connecting with her. But it's, I, it's all about them in the conversation. It's like a date. You, know, you guys know how to go on dates. I have no idea. But, <laughs> but seriously, like, you want to genuinely be interested in that other person, right? You have to be selfless in your conversation. So you don't need to send five paragraphs of what you did last weekend and how excited you are about your accountability group. It's not about that. It's about them, all right? Does that make sense so far? And you guys will obviously be able to come back to these and, and check them out. So then I kind of build her up, right? I have no, I'm confident in my conversation. I have no doubt you're going to do it because your why is so strong and I can't wait to help you achieve it. Have you guys said that in any of your conversations? But do you see how confident that is? It's not pushy. It's not salesy. It's literally... I want to help you do it and we're going to do this together. And doesn't that feel like so cool? Like it feels confident, right? So then I get into workouts with her and she had mentioned the fix. So I asked her what she knows about the fix and what made her gravitate towards that program. And so she had already done the research on it. She, it was kind of easy at this aspect. So she knew about the portion control containers, but she mentioned she was a diabetic. So ding, 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 if somebody has a medical issue that they talk to you about, you obviously are not a doctor, so you just need to be careful about what you suggest. Um, it's up to them what they want to commit to, but if somebody's not sure, I can, you can always send them a doctor letter. In the back office, there's a doctor letter for Shakeology. They can send it to their doctor and have them check out the ingredients, make sure it's good for them. Um, if you can't find it, just FAQ it. It should come up. But, and then I asked her, do you think 30 minute workouts would be a good fit for you and your schedule? And so she said, yes. So we moved on. So I didn't really, I, I think I shared the videos with her in between. I, I didn't show that in here, but I send the videos and give them an option. Do you like the 21 day fix or do you like Pio better? Um, what would work best for you? I don't ever explain what the program is really. I just let the videos do the work. That's what Beachbody already did the marketing for me. So then she said, yes. I said, sounds like a perfect fit. Um, and then I want to dig deeper on what her blood sugar and nutrition is about. What are her restrictions? And what does a typical day of meals look like for you? That's the question I get everybody on with their nutrition because 100% of the time, okay, 99.9% .9 of the time, people do not know how to eat right. I mean, I still, obviously, I'm not perfect, but it's either people aren't eating enough, you know, they'll tell you, oh, I had an egg for breakfast, a granola bar for lunch, and veggies and chicken for dinner. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so this allows you to find the holes in their meal plan. And if they just say like, oh, I pick up takeout or whatever, like, no, ask them. I'd really love for you to share like meal by meal. What do you usually have so that we can set you up the best way to succeed? Um, and then this is usually what happens. So it sounds like you're actually not eating enough. 
especially if you're working out consistently, right? Because we all know we need more fuel. And then I ask her, have you heard of Shakeology before? Do you know much about it? I think it could be a game changer with your busy schedule. I pretty much use that in every conversation because it is, right? We know it is. I believe it is. And she's told me everything that I already, she's stated the holes in her lifestyle and where she needs help. So the whole point of my conversation is for that person to state out loud their problems, their struggles, their cheats, um, the things that hold them back, right? You want to ask so many questions that they literally state out loud why they need this before you even say, okay, this is what I think we should sign you up with. You know what I mean? So she asked me about isogenics. Again, ding, ding, ding. I am never going to talk about another company, right? Because we don't spend time learning about isogenics. I don't care what it is. I don't, it, it doesn't, I already know what works for me, right? And it's worked for hundreds of people on our team. So I don't need to spend time go, going to compare isogenics and Shakeology. That's not building my business, right? So this is how I combat that. I don't know much about isogenics. What I do know is Shakeology has been the single thing that's kept my eating habits in check, eliminated my allergies, fulfilled my chocolate cravings, and I haven't been sick in two and a half years. Why don't I send you two quick videos to learn a little bit more about it? So I'm not going to engage in a fight with somebody about what the heck isogenics is. That's a waste of our time, right? That's, that's not moving forward in the conversation to help her. Um, and so she asks, is it realistic for travel? How does it fit with the 21 day fix? Like I said, this girl asks every single question in the planet pretty much. So I send those two Shakeology videos. You guys should know them by now. Um, they're nothing like a secret or anything. Um, medical questions, going back to that. So she talks about her diabetics. Um, I just don't want to spend the money if I'm not able to control my blood sugar, right? So for me, that's still, okay, the red flag is still there that she still needs to see the value in this. And I still need to connect with her to build that perspective that this can change your life. Um, so I say that, yes, it's only one shake a day. A lot of people think it's like five shakes a day and it's like not eating, <laughs> just so you guys know. I don't know if you've run into that. But um, I actually, this related to me because my mom was pre-diabetic before I started coaching. And so I had worked with somebody that's diabetic. So you guys can use these stories. When this comes up and you have somebody with a medical question, don't be afraid to post it in the team page and ask, because I can bet somebody knows somebody that's talked about it before. Like we have somebody that signed up with us before with Crohn's. I have a friend that's cholesterol issues and it's on Shakeology, obviously breastfeeding moms. So don't be afraid to ask those questions if you're not sure. Um, but I, you know, I told her, yeah, I've worked with other diabetes. I don't know much about it. If you're concerned with it, you might run it by your doctor since I don't know your history. Um, but I've only heard of it helping. And then I just asked her, would you be open to giving it a try for January to see how it goes. So it's not like, would you be open to giving it a try for only a month? You know, you don't want to plant negative seeds in your conversations. You want to always keep it. I can't wait to get started. You're going to love this because X, Y, and Z, you know, it's always positive. It's always confident. It's always, I can't wait to help you. It's not, well, you know, you can always return it or, you know, like that's a last ditch conversation um, to me, the 30 day money back guarantee, because the all access pass, the whole point of it is to help people for an entire year, right? It's not to help them for a month. And so the all access gives us the ability to have them on Shakeology for a longer retention. Um, so she was saying, I was thinking January, but here are the two things I'm worried about. So another objection, I'm going to Orlando for four days and family vacation in Aruba. How do I stay on track, right? So I could have easily said, well, you can just start in March, right? Because it's just not going to work with your schedule. BS, you guys know everybody can fit 30 minutes in. And this challenger, I'll tell you way going ahead, she went to Orlando she did her workouts and she ordered weights. You guys probably know who she is now. She ordered weights to her room to work out. 
So it's like funny looking back on this conversation, but I told her the cool thing is you can take your workouts anywhere with your phone. I've, I've taken them to Europe, which I have. So you kind of want to speak from experience. Um, and the accountability group will be there to keep you on track. And of course you can travel with Shakeology with the packets. Like there's literally no objection we can't overcome. Right. So then I always get, how do I share this all access, right? How do I explain it without word vomiting? And yes, obviously there's a little bit more text here, but this is what I did on the 20, I guess the 26th, the day it came out, she signed up. So I added some excitement. The cool thing is something big launches tomorrow that will allow you to not only get the results you want with fix, but have access to even more programs so we can work together for the long run. Check this out and let me know what you think. So I don't explain all access, guys. That's why I made that document for our entire team to use. I never go into detail about it until they start asking questions after they've looked at it because it's visual, it's easy on the eyes, it's simple, it breaks it down for them and it shows them the value. And it's worked to help me sign up like 30 people in the past three months. So why, why do you need to, you don't need to validate by sending them paragraphs of information about it. Just use the link, okay? So she says, so it's 199, includes the shakes, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yes, your shakes will be monthly, but it's only about $4 a day. And you always have the option to alter them because I, I think that that's important. And I always use this line. I always say, skip the daily Starbucks drive through and gain all of the above. How could you not at least try it for a month and see how it goes, right? You guys have that script. And then I'm confident, just wanted to make sure you're good with all of that. Let me know what flavor you want to try and I can get you all set up. How does that sound? So there's never of like, you know, do you want to do it right now or not? It's okay, let's get signed up. You know, this is good for you. So then she starts asking about the price, right? And I use this time to kind of build that relationship and kind of relate, you know, I've, I've been saving money with this. Um, I don't buy as much at the grocery store. And then I share about the 25% off discount as a discount coach. I call it VIP customer. Um, I give them that option always. It, it depends on the person and you got to feel them out. And if they've signed up with Beachbody before, I would suggest signing them up as a customer first and seeing how things go. Because if they've quit before, they might quit again um, unless they're coaching. But this is something, you know, you got to work through and those scripts, you guys have access to all of them. So I'm not sure about the cost, man. Nobody's ever heard that before, right? We all just get, yeah, sign me up. So she says I'm a bit sticker shocked. So it would be shake a day. So she's like, you know, rethinking it through her head. And, um, so I, I speak from the heart. Think about it this way. A normal challenge pack would be $160, but with this all access pass, you have access to every single workout. I'm just restating what she already read. So I give her a scenario. Say for instance, you end up hating the fix. You can switch it instantly or complete it and get bored. And if you get bored, February, we have another one lined up. So you always have something new and exciting. I know it seems like a lot, but there's a 30. So this is where I throw in. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're truly unhappy, this has never happened because it hasn't, right? You can return it all. No problem. Does that make sense? Um, so then she, she, I told you, she asked every single question in the book. What can I expect from you as a coach? So that's something that, we might not necessarily have in the scripts, right? But it doesn't mean you can't come up with your own and add it in there. So I add, add about the fixed date cooking show and I say, I send weekly personal check-ins, which I do. Um, the health bet group will probably be big with all of my coaches participating, but I work one-on-one -on -one with my challengers through text, email, or messenger as well, whichever you prefer, because I do. So you have to have something lined up and how you're going to keep in touch with your challengers. And I asked them when they first sign up, I've asked, I know Brianna, she got it. Emily was a little bit older, but um, I ask in my new coach email or new challenger email, how often do you want me to stay in touch with you? So that I know what's the best way to get in touch with them and how often, like how many touch points they need throughout their journey. Um, so then she says, 
cool. I'm worried about starting and then going to Orlando again, right? Well, that's where you guys come in. That's why you have a coach, right? It's a long-term commitment, not a month commitment. You have all year to work on your 20 pound goal. And I said, I'll be traveling too, so we can hold each other accountable, which I was. And she's like, she said, you know, thinking that 21 days is going to be not cheating. Let's do it. I really need you to help keep you motivated on track. And I told her, yeah, if you need daily texts, um, let me know. And then you get silence, right? Radio silence. Oh, hate that. And so I send a quick message ready to get all set up, right? So she sent me her email and I sent her the enrollment. Why the heck am I signing up as a coach? Oh gosh, I did all this work. I messaged them. We went through every objection and then she gives me the coach thing. Don't you hate that? So I say you be considered a discount coach, VIP customer, like we talked about. So that's why I always send that line, the VIP customer, because it, it already gave them the explanation of what it is. So it's not like I'm pulling a swift one on her. She already knew it, right? Um, you'll still retain the 25% off. And this is what I suggest to all of my challengers so that they benefit the most. Um, and then she asks about the difference. There is no difference but the discount, right? Because there isn't. Well, what's the difference between it again? <laughs> Um, she had seen an advertisement for $99.95 for the all access and she sent it to me and she was like, what's the difference between this and my challenge pack? So I was like, oh, come on. Um, but it didn't include Shakeology. And so she said, oh, so it's money just for Shakeology. Then you pay monthly. Okay. So you, you guys have to do some personal work in these conversations, right? It's not just a copy paste from the scripts you know those are there to lead you and they're there to help you answer some questions but there's going to be times where you have to um explain things in a confident way so all i did was pretty much copy paste what i had said before did you notice that i had already told her this before you'll be getting shikology portion container six thousand dollars worth of workouts blah 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 do you want to see, try it for a month and see how it goes? Just reading the contract. Oh gosh, don't you love those? <laughs> There's some language in there, responsibilities of coaches, ongoing training, ongoing sales, thoughts. And the honest truth is, yeah, they are in there. But the contract only applies if they're signing up people, right? And our team has established coaching resources, training, all that. So if they did want to coach or just sign people up here and there, they could plug them into that and they wouldn't be like disowning the contract. So, um, you know, I said our team's already established in all those areas, pretty much what I just told you guys. And then she said, wondering if it's just easier to sign me as a regular customer. So this is where, yes, it's not about you, but at the same time, you, I already know that money was an objection for her. So the discount coach is, it's a mutual beneficial thing. Yeah, I was building my account to Diamond at this point, my second CBC. But also I knew that that 25% off, I was going to work my little tail off and she was gonna be committed for the year. So why would I sign her up as a customer when she could get the 25% off, right? It's just silly. So um, I share from there. I've signed up over 100 women all as a discount coach with no problem. Um, you still get the 25% off and the best discount. And then she's like, that makes me feel better. So often you just have to kind of relate to them, right? I feel, I felt, I found is a great way to do that. Um, and just speak from the heart, but not word vomiting. You know, none of these messages have been five paragraphs long. They've been short, they've been simple. I quickly address what her question is and then I ask her more questions about herself and more questions about what I need to know to make her see the holes in her lifestyle and how this can simply fit into it. Um, does that kind of make sense? So how the heck do I create my own magical combos, right? Number one, handy dandy. I, should, I feel like every team call. Make a list of names 
and have it on your desk or your workspace every single day. Have it there because you need to have touch points with these people. And I promise you every single month I highlight names off this list. It's weird and freaky, but it happens. It's kind of like I heard a statistic today that like 20% of people write down their goals and those people actually achieve them because they write them down, which I'm sure you guys have heard that. But it's the same thing with these names. Write down your names. Write down those people you want to help so that they're in your mind when you're going to invite and when you're going to have touch points and follow-ups and things like that. Number two, never stop following up, right? Never stop giving up on anybody. No matter if you sent 10 messages and they didn't answer you back, I can promise you the people that value you and, and see you as a friend are going to message you at some point. They often just don't check Facebook Messenger like we do. So just keep following up and just keep being an interested kind of person that you all are. Number three, stay confident in your offer. Um, that's the biggest thing I think our team struggles with. I don't know if you guys would agree. Like, you guys know our accountability groups are bomb. Like, you know this, this community is amazing, like none other. But sometimes we don't always translate that in our conversations. And I didn't know how to do this. I want you guys to know that. Like, I just learned how to do it. Like, I knew I was really bad at this in the beginning because my coach, I literally sat down with her when we went to Super Saturday. I was like, okay, can you show me, like, what your conversations look like? Like, what are you, how are you inviting this month? She's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, how, how are you inviting people to your challenge group? Oh, they just come to me. <laughs> she was one of those people that could post on social media and people would come to her. That's just how she ran her business every single month. Lucky her, right? But she's not coaching anymore, so it clearly didn't work. So you have to stay honest and confident in what you're inviting to because you guys should feel that way you know how has Beachbody changed your life imagine if your coach didn't invite you to this you wouldn't be sitting on a team call missing the bachelor right now unlike every single other person on our team <laughs> so it matters to you for a reason and you have to remember to give that um, number four be prepared to sign up five people tomorrow so if five people told you tonight okay sign me up would you have a system in place to set them up for success? Ooh. So it doesn't have to be hard, but what I would suggest is going to the files in the team page and seeing what I send my new challengers or Brianna, you should have the new emails um, that I sent out, but they're all on the team page. Go make a Wufu form or a Google form and have a collector of information. Because that information, their phone number, their email, we should already have that to send them up. But the two that I love the most is um, how often do you want me to stay in touch with you and what's the best way to get in contact with you? And if you fall off, am I allowed to call you out? Right? So you got to have something. Um, you totally can. But Brianna, I would suggest until you're hitting Success Club, every single month and feeling really good about it, don't worry about the extra stuff. I'm saying literally take five or 10 minutes and make a Google form. Like it's so simple. Um, the prep packet took me like a couple hours to put together. So don't feel like you have to reinvent the wheel. To me, that's extra stuff. And it took me two years to do it. So do the basics and get the wheels running and get the oil flowing and then worry about the other stuff. So yeah, forms are super easy. Um, they allow me to remember information because sometimes I forget. And I can go back and check, you know, what does this person need from me kind of thing. So just think about that. Um, number five, personal development every day. I mean, that should be a given, guys. I tell you all the time that as many minutes as you can suck into your day, get it in your head because you will not... You will not see success in this business without doing it every day. And I know when my PD is off, my business is off. And that's probably why most people aren't on this call right now. I'm just going to say that. Um, as well as number six, consistent power hour. Oh, gosh, Danielle, I already know that. But seriously, you, I was listening to, um, I'm doing the book Six Figures in Six Months, which don't listen to the title because it's really not about that. It's really about 
how do I create massive success with what I'm doing right now? And um, he said to eliminate your feelings from your action. Because do you ever come home and you're so tired and your eyes are like closing and you haven't done anything with each body and you just want to fall asleep on your bed and do nothing? But nobody's going to build your business but you, right? So if you don't show up, your store doesn't open. The open sign doesn't flip. The door isn't welcome. And so you have to kind of think about that. You, No matter how tired, how hard life gets. I mean, I will tell you today, I did not want to do anything. Lately, I'll tell you what, I, what I've been doing. I will pick a 45-minute show, one that I don't even like, and put it on the side, sign into my parents' Xfinity account, put it on the side of my screen, and just get my power hour done as fast as I can during that 45 minutes. I mean, sometimes it's just whatever it takes, right? Maybe it's something in the background for you, a timer. But guys, the power hour builds your business. You can't just expect to show up on social media and it just flourish. I mean, it just doesn't happen that way for the long run. Um, but consistent appearances on social media every day do matter, backing up what you're doing behind the scenes. They interlock. And the last thing is, whenever I feel like I just can't invite that person, people are always more scared to ask you for help than you are to ask them to join you. And I think about that every single day. Um, so I hope this was helpful um, in kind of walking you guys through what I do. And I'd love to have any questions or what are you guys, what did you get out of this? What are you struggling with? I thought it was very helpful. And um, I have like three people that I'm going to probably mess with. Well, I'm going to message tonight, but I think it was helpful um, to kind of clear my head and kind of help avoid some more word vomit, which I'm guilty of probably all the time. It's hard because like we're so excited about it, but like I always check myself and I'm like, um, what was I saying? I was going to say it's not about me. It's about them, you know? Mm -hmm. And so they know what you're doing. Because if they're messaging you back, they're watching your posts. So hopefully they're good. But, um, you know, you, you practice what you preach on your posts. And so when you go and invite, it's like, yeah, I've been watching you, you know. And I think we forget to use the tools to explain things. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. You know, like you should never explain what the 21 day fix is. Do you like short, simple workouts? Cool. Why don't you check this out and let me know what you think? Takes a lot of the work out of it too. Like super mm -hmm. simple. <laughs> yeah. Brianna, what do you got? Um, I thought the part about kind of working in the discount coach thing was good because I think that's my, been my biggest fear and what's holding me back from Emerald is the fact that I'm like, oh my God, they're going to see that I'm signing them up as a coach and they're going to be like, what the, you know? So... I think I've been hesitant to kind of put that out there, but to see it kind of spelled out the way you did was helpful. Yeah, and I can pass the slides um, after if you guys want to. But yeah, that would be great. The explanation is pretty much in the Team Cup scripts. So it's all there. Um, I just, I think it's really just like believing in your, yourself to know that you have an incredible thing to offer, you know? Like, think about your life before Beachbody. Are you guys, like, excited to work out every day? You know? Were you excited to, like, connect with random people you don't know? <laughs> like, I think we take for granted what, what we do. And it's a gift to give. And I'll tell you, like, I never know who I'm going to sign up every month. Like, it's kind of, sometimes I sit back and I'm like, this is kind of freaky. Like, who am I going to talk to this month? <laughs> but that's also the crazy, beautiful part about this. You just never know who's watching and you never know until you ask, right? Um, so yeah, the coach enrollment, it's, you're doing them a favor. It's a mutual beneficial thing. Um, they don't need to know it's about rank or anything. I mean, if they're absolutely against it, but... I, 
just act normal. It's only weird if you make it weird, right? I think that's my thing right now is I feel like I make it weird. Is it easy if you get someone signed up to transfer them to becoming a coach if they're a customer? Yeah, so that's what Beth actually did to get to Emerald because she like refused to sign up her boyfriend as a coach. And I'm like, okay, well, he's doing Shakeology, so that's dumb, but go for it. And now he like loves Shakeology and did the refresh with her too. I was like, whoa, a guy doing it. That's pretty committed. Um, but yeah, you just fill out a form. You can FAQ it or I can send you the info. Yeah. And if they, bought, if they bought a challenge pack as a customer, um, basically they'll pay the $40 to become a coach and then get reimbursed. So it's pretty simple. But I, for the most part, until I was a very stable diamond, I only sign people up as dis discount coaches and that's what I advise you guys to do just because you literally leave money on the table by not getting to Emerald. Um, and you both have pretty strong placements in my downline. So get it <laughs> and then never lose it is always the thing. Um, but that would just be my suggestion. What else? What's going well this week when I have you? I have two people that I'm talking to right now that I'm hopeful for. I don't want to like put all my eggs in one basket, but, um, and then I have two girls who bought challenge packs like a couple weeks ago, but, um, we're both leaving on vacation and weren't ready to like commit. And now we're back and getting started in this first, in this challenge group that started today. So it's kind of my first go at it with people to like interact with that are kind of in my download downline. Wait, so did they buy them? Did they um, buy them themselves? No, they had bought them talking to me. Oh, so did you get the successful points? Um, so one of them, one of them was the one that did it like the day before Beachbody corporate was super fun with me. Um, and I didn't get her coach change um, switched in time. So, like, I don't know. Okay. But, and then the other one I did, she was my points from February. Cool. But she still shows up as two. How come in cup points she still shows up as two? They've been really slow with all access, just so you guys know, because the system's hard with the three successful points. It's so dumb. Um, but don't, don't worry about it like it should update they said every thursday but that hasn't happened to my account so just keep an eye on it and let me know if you don't see it like after a week yeah i just didn't see it on like the weekly thing they send out for team cup so i was just wondering mine wasn't either so don't worry um what's going well for you emily i'm oh, sorry that's okay i've been more consistent with my facebook posts last week and going into this week so i'm proud of myself for that um i've been reaching out to people i started today um, and then i still have like my list of people and ones that i want to follow up with and everything um the one girl that i work with she's also a coach mm -hmm. um she wants to run like a seven day like a free clean eating group um so i think we're going to do that we just have to i, I don't remember when she said but, um, so I'm interested to see how that's going to go to kind of get like a different, like coach's point of view. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm getting back into it. So that's good. Yeah. One thing I'm going to tell you guys for the next six months up till summit, how do you want to walk into the Superdome? Mm -hmm. Just like, because like going to LA this year, I saw my old coach and Rachel, go to this last year and i remember watching and saying i'm going to be there i don't know how i don't know who's going to get me there i was barely a diamond but i'm going and it's just crazy to see like when you put your vision on point and you make that decision like i say it all the time but like literally if you get deep in your head and you just say this is what i'm going to summit as and i don't know how it's going to happen but i'm going to put in the work i'm going to figure stuff out and just be consistent every day, it will happen. So 
I want you guys to be super proud when you walk into that superdome, whatever that looks like for you. You know, I don't want you to do it for me. I want you to do it for yourself. Um, but just know that like literally anything's possible in this business and don't ever take that for granted. So but I am going to throw a challenge to you guys since we have, <laughs> we have a coaching opportunity called tomorrow night at eight. Um, so even if you can't make it, um, I want you to go invite five people you think would be awesome coaches on our team after this call. They don't have to know anything about Beachbody. All they have to know is I, I put two invites on the team page earlier today with the link to the call. So you can go look at those. But it's so much more fun when you just ask people and you give them the gift of getting on our team calls and growing our team. Because it's super fun for me to grow, but how much more fun would it be for all of us to grow teams this year? You know? So, is that a cool challenge? Think you can do it? Everything you've ever wanted is outside that comfort zone. So you can't, you can't get to diamond by yourself. So might as well go ask. And the worst thing you're going to hear is no. And that's okay. Because then they're going to sit back and watch. And you're going to post amazing stuff this week. And they're going to come back and ask about it. So thank you guys for hopping on. I will post the team call in the slides. I appreciate it. And rock the freaking cup, all right? I want some success club points okay. on the board when I'm in LA, locking it in. Cool? Sounds good. All well, right. now that we know we have another Monday in February, I mean, we've got, we've got time. Whoa, we don't have time. Just get it done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. All right, safe travels this week. Thank you. See ya. Yeah, have a good time.